Hello again. This is still Pejman Rusty, and uh, we are together for the last video where we try to write the code, okay, to fine tune an uh, LLM uh, LLM model, okay. So in this case, so I try to to use uh, Python code, uh, written in in uh, PyTorch, okay. But these are the platform for some of you that know it. It's okay. So, but some of them that they, uh, some of them that they, they don't know about about the PyTorch or the platform and so on. So, don't need to to be, to be to, to afraid of that. So, it's just different platform that we can we can use it. Okay. But the code is uh, you will see that it's so so easy to to use and it's well well commented and so on. Okay. You can use the same code and use your 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 model. Okay. So, um, just as a Brief explanation that we in the first video we saw uh, some some concepts uh, about how we can fine tune a model with different different methods. In the second video we we, uh, we saw together that how we can use the uh, platform of the Open Open AI to to customize a, a model. And in the the third video we saw that how we can use uh, the platform of a Hugging Face where we have access to the variety of the models. And we can uh, we can try to to train a model without writing uh, even a line of, of a, a code. Okay. Now we go further and we try to use our LLM model. Okay. So just uh, we can go so to the to the GitHub repository that I, I prepared for for that. So I can put it in the the caption of this uh, this this video the link. And here so you have the the Alpasa. Um, CSV file that we used in the, the previous video where we uh, used it and uploaded it to the Hugging Face platform. But in this, this video, we go on the, the codes that we, we have here. So if you open it on this here, it's written that open in Colab. So you open it in, uh, in Colab. So for some of you that already use it, that's all right. You know it. So don't need to uh, to listen to this part, but for some of you that uh, have never used it, so this is the platform that we can use to 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 write our code, to train our model. It gives us access to the to the machine for for free. Of course, that it has the premium uh, version and so on. So we, in the free version, we are a little limited from the time from the resources, but still for a toy example. It's not bad, okay. All the Python uh, libraries are almost installed on that, ex except some specific one that we can install easily on this. So we don't need to go and deal with the uh, installation of the packages, the GPUs, and so on on our, our system, okay. But as I said, this is for a toy example. So if we want to really to have a big model that is trained on the big database, the fine tune on the big uh, big databases and so on. So of course that we need a machine. To, to train on that okay here as, um, as some example of that so uh, some uh, some information about that for example here we have uh, runtime okay the option of runtime here so we can change our runtime it gives us access to the CPU uh, to the GPU okay we can use other other GPUs okay uh, T4 GPU or A100 GPU so these are the different version okay and also we can use the TPU uh, for 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 some of the cases and we are using the the Python tree okay it also give us access to the R that is not our case in the, in here and we stay on a a a hundred uh, GPU okay so first. For the the English uh, viewer of the, the video, I should apologize because all the comments that I wrote are, are in French. But just some simple explanation about what we we, we have uh, in uh, in this 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 code. So here we have we need some package Python package that we should install. So in the specific version, so we we install them easily in this uh, this block. So it's not something uh, to to go a lot on that. Uh, then we need some some libraries that we we import. So the the library, most uh, famous library that we are using here is Transformer. And from Transformer we import all the libraries that we need for fine tune a model. 
okay so we can have the the auto model uh, for for casual llm so this is the uh, for loading the pre-trained model okay to do this so we have auto tokenizer to tokenize uh, or or data or text and, and so on okay so these are for making a pipeline for logging and, and so on so these are some uh, some um, uh, libraries that we, we are using as i said the the sections and the text in, in French, but the the comments for for the codes are in in English, so you can you can use it. Okay, in this example, okay, we use a database available database. Okay, as I said, this is a toy example. In fact, the the aim is that you make your own database. Okay, and uh, use it here to train it. But here I just show. One example of that, so in the CSV file and so on, the term of the CSV file, uh, that later you can uh, uh, prepare your your database, okay, and give it to give it to this. So the original database that we we wanted to use is the um, is a database, uh, so that provided in Hugging Face database. So this is the database of the uh, Open Assisted. Uh, Guanaco, so which is one of the common uh, database that are used here. So it has twenty two thousand eight hundred downloaded. So it's, it shows that it's quite common. And in that we have different questions in different languages. Okay, so it's the multi language database. For example, it's in the case of the human. So what the human ask. Can uh, can you write a short introduction about the relative of the the terms uh, uh, mono uh, monopsony and in uh, in economics and this is the the response of the the instructor okay please use example related and so on and so on. and assistant will respond to this so this is something uh, common the question and the answer here the question is named as a human the um, the the answer is named as the as the assistant. Okay, this is the original database that we have. In this example, we try to use, to fine tune a, a open source uh, model provided by Meta, it's called Lama. Uh, that for this, we should a little change our, our database. Okay, so this is the how we, we should write it. Okay, in that we need uh, for, for a Lama database, we need the three, three components. So you call it system prompt. That we we should need this is it's not obligate uh, it's not obli it's not mandatory but it's we can provide with the with the, with the prompt and then you can have the user prompt and the, the backslash uh, the inst and then model answer and then uh, we have the s to to finish so this is the um the structure that we should make our database then with this structure we can feed it to the to the llama llama database so there is for the, the original database there is a version a converted version uh, with a thousand samples to make it easy to not have to go with this because we are using the uh, free version of the the collab so and that we can uh, we can we can uh, we can use it so if i open it so this is the same type of question but here with the uh, with the converted version that is adopted to the the llama database okay here we have the thousand version. We have the original uh, completed version of that database as well to, to fine tune it. But here we are using the uh, the the small databases that we we have here because we are limited in the in the in the resource here. Okay, so how we can do this? So we can uh, read it here. So here is the the model name. Okay. So the model that we wanted to use, as I said, this is the, the Lama. So we use the Lama, Lama 2, 7, 7B uh, chat. So this is the model that is uh, uh, it's ready to, to the chat purposes. Okay, when you wanted to make, make a chat. Okay, so this model, uh, it can come from different repository in Hugging Face. It can come directly from the meta repository. Okay, but the, the point is that if you wanted to use the meta repository directly on Hugging Face, you should take a permission, should follow the, uh, fill out the form, and then Permeta will give you a permission to use some of the model. But we have other uh, uh, repositories like uh, uh, No Research. 
So on the new, uh, new research, so on the, on the hugging face, so if you, for example, put it here, it provides us with the, the models, almost all the models that are, that are exist, that are used by the, uh, provided by the big companies. For example, Meta Lama 3, 8B, uh, you have it here for the Hermes model, uh, Lama 2, 13B, or, or other, other models, okay? So you can find them here instead of going for the, for, for the original um, repositories and so on. Here, this is what I, I used. Um, so I gave the database name. This is the one that I used here with the 1K, so a thousand samples of that. And then I said that, okay, by this base model, by this database, I wanted to make a, make a, make a new model. This is the, the fine-tuned one. And the output directory, this is the result that we, we have. Then I will load the database from the hugging face to our model that is here. Then the next step is the to go for defining some parameters. So you remember, if you remember from the, the first video, we we're talking about the LoRa method. Okay, this is what we, we have. Also, we saw it in the hugging phase. So we should define it. So here we define what is the dimension of the, the LoRa to R that we saw in the first uh, uh, example and the first the first video on the, on the slide. We should define the R as the for the matrices of the A and, and B. And then uh, we we define some parameters of the of the alpha and, and drop out for for, for uh, lower out. So I don't go more in details, but drop out is for reduce the um, uh, the overfitting and so on. Okay. And then we do the configuration of the of the LoRa here. We also use the, the Q LoRa to uh, quantize the, um, the initial weight of the pre-trained model uh, W that uh, W0 that we, we have here. So we use for the, we go for the four bits, okay? Of that, we uh, activate the four bit precision based model loading. And then uh, here we define as the float, uh, float 16. This is what we, 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 we talked about this before. And then here we, we do the configuration of that. So here we do the configuration of LoRa. Here we do the configuration of the um, the Q uh, Q LoRa, and then uh, we go define uh, the the mixed precision training. Okay, so that we we define it as the the FP sixteen or BF uh, BF sixteen. So normally in this case, in the, when you are using the call uh, call app, so if you are in the A hundred, so we can use uh, BF uh, BF sixteen but also you can use the FP16, so this is the, the same, but BF16, we have more, more range, okay? Uh, so for the, for the batch size uh, per, per, uh, per GPU, uh, per uh, GPU, we have four, okay? For the evaluation also, we have, uh, we have four, okay? So we define also the gradient checkpoints, so to, to save in the periodically on the, on the, the gradient, okay? And learning rate, that we we wanted to to go weighted decay so where we are the the weight decay it means that we start with the value of the learning rate but as we go further this learning rate will be changed will be reduced it used to go to the optimal optimal point and uh, this is the for the optimizer said that one of the most famous of that is adam adam w that we we are using Okay, and learning uh, rate schedule, it's the cosine that we, we define, this is quite common. So these are some parameters, you can let, let it as a, as, a, as a default, so we don't need to go for, for, for them, but if you want to modify them, you can also do this for fine tuning of, the, of, of your model. And then we, we reach at the end for the for, for training of the of, of model. So we define the maximum sequence left. Uh, we can define it, or we can put it as a, as, a, as a default of that. So we don't need the, the packing, and then we also can uh, GPU compatibility uh, on on this. Here we know that it's compatible, but if you are using it on on your machine, so you should check this part as as well. And then you can um, load the base model. This is the one that we define from the new uh, new research. Uh, the the Lima. Um, Lima Lima two seven B, okay. That we uh, we we imported it model name and we said that we have the quantization configuration, uh, that quantized pre-trained model, okay, and we um, we tokenize it, 
because we have the text we should tokenize it to have the the, the, the numbers okay and here we define some uh, some parameters of the of the training so output directory number of training epoch uh, per device training so these are everything that we define at the beginning so we know we are feeding it to the to the to the model okay and then we we train it okay to create the the, the model training with train and the model it's trained on our, our database so we have the training loss and so on here in this case i just use the training i didn't split it on the validation and the training it's should split it on the training and validation but as i said it's the toy example i just wanted to to show how we can we can do this but later you can have you can split it in the training validation and test this is uh, something necessary really to to do this to do the test to do the training and to do the, uh, the to do the validation as well during the the training and then you can verify uh, the uh, the process of the training on the tensor board this is the the environment that we can train so how many uh, epochs we had what are the uh, learning rates uh, how many reduce or the loss uh, that we we have in, in 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 our case which is the platform of that tensor board that we can use it and then at the end we can do the do the test that to realize how it it works okay or it respond to our to our, to our question so here i define because this is the the lima uh, the lama model so as i said the input should be a specific type we have we should reformat the it to the specific time so this function will do do this for for us okay so if we run it so i didn't run it but we can we can run it to do this when we run it it uh, open an environment that will ask you to to raise your question okay uh, for example, the, the last time that I run it, I said that what is the what are the um, how difficult is to train a, a llama model, and this is the the response that it uh, that it give to me Ma majority of the, of the responses. So if I run in the in the resume, is that it's all depend to the data that you you give to it. Okay, uh, so if it's the clean data if it's a good data if it's the enough data so you would have the good the good model it's not difficult but if it your data are not enough and so on so this is uh, make the scenario a little, a little complicated okay then after that when you did it so you can um, you can have uh, save your model okay uh, the the fine tune model uh, that you 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 train and then and after that here it's up to you either you can have it in your your machine or you can upload it on the um, on your hugging face profile for example here uh, i did uh, i uploaded in my my profile so the fine tune that i i did it so when i upload it there then you can i can use also the platform of the the chat ui that we saw in the previous video that we give this model we use the user interface there and we can we can use the uh, use that so if you do this so in, it need you to give a token from the hacking phase so tokenizing of the hacking phase how you can take it so you can uh, open this and you can make a token from that and you put it here and it, it will upload it there for for you for example if i go to my if i go to my account so here for example you see that this is these are the, the this is the model and this is another model that i uploaded on my my profile so this model can be used for 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 other other purposes it's something that we can um, use there okay and at the end we can say that um uh, we can we can have it to the to the uh, to the to the uh, hugging face up to to use it also there's a possibility to uh, retrain this model on the, the the whole database that i saw at the beginning okay but this is not the case in this this scenario uh, because uh, this is a demonstration of how we can use a code uh, to fine tune a model on our own data okay now this is the responsibility of each of us to create a database based on our domain based on our work okay and then retrain it either by the the coding this for for free 
either by the, the hacking phase, it should be a little, um, a little money for that, for the machine that we are using, or with the chat GPT that we should have the, the subscription and premium plan on that. Okay, so I hope that you, you enjoy this series of uh, this series of uh, this series of videos and uh, don't hesitate to to write your question in the comments of this, uh, this these videos. We I try to respond to, to your questions. Have a good time and hope to see you soon.